Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the bestest of father sauce that can be paired with a father rice itself or maybe a rice that you have available. Guys, this is a must dry. And if you want to see how I made this sweet sauce, keep watching. In a large pot, transfer your green pepper, red bell pepper, your scotch bonnet, onions, shumbo, or whatever you have. Add a little water and cover up, let it steam for at least 10 minutes. I realized that steaming the peppers first will actually reduce the amount of water that will come out while blending. This is exactly how your pepper should look like after it has steamed. Don't let it to overcook. So all you need to do now is to transfer this in a blender and blend until pureed. Now you don't need to add water to it at all, just let it blend because it's already softened. So let it blend for at least 10 minutes or completely pureed. So this is how your pepper should look like after you're done blending. It's looking kind of orange in color and so smooth and soft now let's begin the frying process to make the bestest of other sauce in the world it is advised to use bleached palm oil seriously guys it takes it to a whole new level saute your onions together with your locust beans any of other sauce that doesn't have a locust beans is a no-no for me <laughs> go ahead and season with crayfish powder chili powder salt seasoning cube and stir all together to combine look at those bubbles guys <laughs> throw in the blended pepper and stir to combine thoroughly Cover this up and allow to fry for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Now look at that guys. The aroma coming from here right now is heavenly. Stir all together to combine to avoid it from getting burnt, okay? Now at this point you may want to transfer your cooked meat or rather assorted meat. I used calf skin, I used uh, beef and I also used shaki which is also known as tripe. Oh, I'm sorry, tribe. <laughs> Feel free to use whatever meat of choice. Now, this meat has been cooked to perfection. Add a little stock to loosen up the stew a bit. Stir together to combine again and again. <laughs> In case you want to know the ingredients I use for this ofada sauce, kindly check the description box below. and sure you check it out, okay? So cover this up and allow it to boil for at least 5 minutes. Next up, add your boiled, or let me say, hard boiled egg. Not just boiled, let it be hard boiled. I seriously don't know why a further sauce has an egg, but I just love it though. Let's just follow the trend. <laughs> See how the stew is looking so luscious. Go ahead and add much more egg if you want to, alright? Cover the stew and allow to boil at least for one minute and your father stew is ready to be served. Like I said, you can eat this with whatever carbohydrate you want to eat with it, okay? It is perfectly paired with an ofada rice, but you can use whatever rice you have available. In my case, I'm using ofada rice. Now, this rice has been cooked to perfection. So I'm just gonna begin serving and I'm gonna enjoy my rice alone. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know you like it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't also forget to hit the brother behind it, which is the bell. Now, that is a notification bell, it will definitely notify you anytime I upload. See you guys in the next video. I love you all. Bye-bye.